Welcome back to another video on the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. So for today's video, we're going to be checking out the Ballistic Knife in Warzone. Just like the other melee weapons we've covered on the channel so far since the Season 4 update, the Ballistic Knife caught a pretty significant buff. And they finally gave this weapon aim assist in Warzone. Forever, this weapon has had no aim assist on controller in Warzone. I'm not entirely sure why, and I even talked to the devs about it, and they had no idea why it didn't have it. And since they actually fixed the aim assist on this weapon, close range engagements feel so good with this weapon. The weapon doesn't drift like it used to, and overall just feels so much better of a weapon to use. Another thing they buffed on this weapon is the movement speed. They actually increased it to 0.955 up from 0.943. And even though they did add aim assist and increase the movement speed, unfortunately, this weapon is still going to be a three hit melee. So when it comes to meleeing only players, that would probably be my last resort since it's going to be a three hit. I would suggest either shooting the ballistic knife and then meleeing them or throwing knife in them, then shooting the ballistic knife. Something along those lines with those combinations would work out so much better than just specifically meleeing with this weapon. And that's what I ended up doing in today's gameplay. I really didn't melee that much unless I hit a throwing knife first or I shot them with a the ballistic knife first and then I meleeed them and fished them off. Overall, I feel like the ballistic knife is definitely a really good melee option to use. The only complaint is, like I said, the three hit melee. I feel like it should be a two hit and I feel like going forward, they are going to change it to a two hit. But for any of you guys that have checked out the ballistic knife since the season four update, make sure you let me know down below in the comment section how you guys feel about it. But anyways, I'm ready to go ahead and hop into today's gameplay. Hopefully you guys end up enjoying it. If you do, as always, man, make sure you drop a like down below. Let's see if we can hit 5,000 likes. Also, if you are new around here and you end up enjoying the content, I'd really appreciate it if you could also drop me a sub. And without further ado, man, let's go ahead and hop into the gameplay. All right, we're playing some good old Caldera today. Let's see the options here. So we can actually land this area, like power plant to, to capital. Because I always wait till the very end to jump out, and then we just wait for the loadout to come in anyway. So I actually do like this area, like these types of areas. There's so many buildings to actually go to. Say you get in a bad situation, you're in an open field. You can make it to a building and more than likely survive. But the loadout should be coming in in the next couple seconds, and we'll see kind of where it is. Okay. That's interesting. I'm assuming this guy's Lodi is going to be there as, as well. I'm just going to let him go. Let him dip. Then I'll land in and get mine. All right. Well, he's not gone. He's going to that building, which which is fine. Oh, got it. Maybe we can take this guy out. He should be. Oh, one just landed in. We're going to shoot at him. Or maybe he just flew off of that. This is rough, man. I had to do that in that situation because I didn't trust using the ballistic knife since he had battle hardened on. Nice. I've got no idea. Oh, there's players over here. They're fighting ones in the soccer field as well. I would pull up using that vehicle, but I feel like it's a terrible decision because I'm giving away my position at that point. Damn. Nope. What? What? I can't melee. What the? F oh my god. But yeah, throw a knife him once, and then hit him with the ballistic knife melee. You're good. I wouldn't suggest solely meleeing with this though. Like I said before, definitely try to hit him with something else. It's gonna take a lot of health off of him. Yep, I hear him. Could be roof. I'm trying to be very cautious with how I push this. Could be in this bathroom. Dude, there's so many places this guy could be. Nope. Got him. Gotcha. Woo. Man, there's just so much going on over here. We definitely got a little lucky with taking this guy out, though. Someone's nearby. I'm going to see if the guy landed back in on his stuff over here. That's my guess. Oh, no. He went top over there. Wow. Maybe we can hit the redeploy. Hover over top of where he is and just see how that goes. I hope I don't get sniped out the sky. Oh, whoa, what the? 
dude people play like this people play like that they can't redeploy balloons there's no way people actually play like that bro oh yep he's right here Nope, not gonna happen, brother. You're a fucking push. <laughs> this ballistic knife is interesting, man. It really is. If you can utilize it in the right way, you can definitely pop off. Especially with it being so good close range now. Uh, what's our options for bounties in this situation? Oh, looks like it's inside of the uh, the area down there. Maybe we can hit the redeploy balloon and then go into the capital. See if I can see anything from up top. These buildings or anything. People love to camp up here. They definitely do. With redeploy balloons, man, high ground is uh, crazy easy to overtake now. It would have been so useful in Verdance to take out the red roof campers. Oh, yeah. Dude, you need to get back here, dog. <laughs> you can't run. Well, I mean, I guess you can technically run because this melee weapon doesn't have, like, any lunge. Uh, I think I'm actually going to go towards the redeploy balloon and try to take out this guy from up top. Once you get that high ground on somebody, man, it is very, very difficult for them to actually take you out. Beforehand, I would push into buildings on Verdansk, and I had literally no chance taking that person out unless I got the high ground because there was so many buildings that people could just camp in that the only way for you to get up top was for them to easily hear you for coming from underneath or a ladder on the side or something that they were already expecting that has a trip mine on it or something along those lines i think he may have jumped off Dude, I don't trust this. Yep, I was gonna say there's two places he could come from. Got him. Whew, you hit that ballistic knife shot. You are good, bro. This actually feels mad good to use. It feels super fluid now. It doesn't feel as awkward and, and weird like it did before. I'm for it, man. This ballistic knife, it might be my favorite melee option. I know the Cali sticks are good and all, but I mean, if you're gonna end up stunning a player, you, you might as well go ahead and use this. There's so many things about Caldera that I've noticed that are just so nice that would have made Verdance such a better map. And so at least they've learned over time. This might be a bad push, actually. The gas is coming in soon. There's no redeploy close. We'll just have to see how it goes, man. Don't toss it in there. It hit him. Got him. Really? Oh. Dude, that was close. That was very close. Uh, let's get UAV. All right, let's dip. Man, Battle Harden is so useful now. It's 70% effective against stuns, not 40% anymore. So you run into somebody rocking Battle Harden while you're trying to use something other than the Cali sticks, you are... If it, and especially if it's a good player. I just had to try it. I kind of feel like just challenging this guy and just hoping for the best. Got him. Oh, UAV. Damn. That's lucky. It's a guy in this building. I'm not sure if he's all the way up top or not. No, he's not. Yes, sir. Which way? Bruh. Oh, damn, that's unfortunate, bro. Oh, he's right here. 
Wow. Yes, sir. Okay, he's all the way over there. I think, honestly, I'm just going to take this redeploy balloon and get the hell out of capital. Let me kind of assess the situation and see what we can do here. Personally, we got a bounty on. It's just eating the circle at this point. Maybe we can fly over here. Try and take him out for that cash. I'm not sure where players are over here, though. Oh, nope, nope. That was terrible. Nope. Nope. Oh, that was terrible, dude. Nope. Oh, God. I'm dipping. I'm just, I'm out of here. It's not worth sticking around. Too close to the circle or the edge of the, the zone. Best for me to just get moving and not deal with that guy at all. Maybe we can get a high ground position up here and just try to put ourselves in a really good position at this point. I mean, we got 12 kills. We play it smart. We could probably pull off like 15 plus. I'm just going to play this a little slow here. Uh, I went through a couple houses at this point and I just really haven't found anybody. So at this point in the game, that's all it's about letting people pick each other off and i mean especially if you don't have any transportation like the bertha back in the day in verdance we could just drive around take out whoever we wanted to this is all about positioning and letting other people you know kill each other oh that's where we need to be right now i'm gonna see if we can rotate up this way and then get some high ground here please nobody shoot me in the back oh okay bruh nope Got him. Ooh. That was so close. Oh, I see him. Nope. I had to go for it. He's got the high ground here. I'm probably gonna get shot from somebody else, another angle. That was a terrible decision on your end, brother. Got him. We need to get in this building and hunker down. I feel like I'm gonna get shot from a random ass hill somewhere if I don't. Only five remain. Finish this once and for all. Recon inbound. Okay. UAV. I would not have enough for another. I don't yeah, I can't make that jump. That's unfortunate, dude. Bruh. What? Damn. Got him. Oh my God. I'm dead. I'm probably dead here. Holy shit, guys. There we go. Cluster. I'll take gas mask. I don't know. Okay. Oh, I'm chilling inside here. We got one dead ahead over here, and then one probably behind us somewhere. Got him. Oh, you're such a b Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. I'm trying to figure out where this last guy is. I have absolutely no idea. I don't want to get caught off guard here. He could be down low, though. Yeah, I got a feeling he's down low, man. We'll see if he's up top. I mean, what's the worst thing that happens? He's in a bush down here or something? Oh, he was actually up top. Wow.
No. That's so terrible. That was a good play, bro. He's right there on the roof or up top. Dude, I can still pull this off. Did he fall down? The only way up is here. If he fell down. Damn, I was going to kill myself there. Dude. Dude, this oh my god we got so lucky we got so lucky bro yo ggs guys hey, don't put no video don't make no video <laughs> why not brother <laughs> it's all good bro that was a fun game man yeah for sure man i right, appreciate the love guys good game good game good game hey, Watch you, bro. Wow, you made me crazy with that. Yeah. <laughs> that boy's <laughs> angry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that boy, man. He got mad. He got shit on. Shit, right? I feel like I've been having a pretty good damn transition going into Caldera. I've been getting some nice games. Granted, a lot of them I've been failing a lot, but overall, I've definitely been doing a whole lot better than I expected. But hopefully, you guys end up enjoying today's video. If you did, as always, man, make sure you drop a like down below, and I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.